Okay, I'll talk about the finance in a minute. Okay. So, um, so let's just go back. So everybody understand the numbers then. Right. We bought it for 185. Uh, it's about 140 thousand uh, dollars. Uh, let's say 150. Yeah, after all is said and done, there's going to be some 30 thousand uh, dollar. You know, there's some acquisition costs and some selling costs and holding costs and things like that on the for this project. Uh, so we're going to hopefully sell it for around five. You know, and uh, you know there'll be hopefully a couple of dollars left over you know, to, to pay my utility bill here um, and so on. Okay. Any questions so far on the numbers? Sure. Well, assuming you sell it for five five twenty, how how does this project uh, rank in terms of your past projects in terms of success? Okay. Uh, the question was how does this uh, project rank relative to other, others that I've done. Yeah. Um, this one is a bigger rehab um, than, you know, I mean, I, 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 li I like bigger rehabs. The reasons being that, um, especially in Washington, the competition is so fierce now uh, for, for deals. You know, it's ridiculous. It's got to the point whereby, you know, a, a deal hits the market. Yeah. By the time I get to it, you know, it's, you know, it's gone. <laughs> and, um, you know, there's a lot of investors moved in, and there's also a lot of uh, new people moving to town. A lot of uh, homeowners want it, want in. So it's just harder to find good deals, and you end up in bidding wars many times, which I try not to get you be a part of. So I'm finding that the more work that's needed, the less of the competition. Okay, because your average homeowner, if it's a, a gut job, and, and you know you got to you know, tear out all the walls and put new systems in there. It's just too much for them and they'll get frightened away. It's too intimidating, okay? So you tend to remove those people from the competition. Whereas if it's a very simple cosmetic, then most people can, can see through that and be able to go for it. So I tend to go, as a result of that, I'm tending more into the houses that need a lot more work. Just because it's competition, then you're just dealing with other investors. You know, and everyone's pretty much working on the same formulas, and uh, you know, and so on. Okay, so it's a bigger rehab. Uh, that's okay. I was able to do this because of the fact that uh, I had some really good contractors. You know, if you have the contractors from hell, uh, then you can't take on something like this because you know, at some point. I mean, the way it always plays out. You know how it is. Everyone, you saw the project, everyone's all lovey-dovey, you know, kumbaya, walking through, holding hands, you know, and, you know, at some point, the relationship goes down with the contractors, you know, it may be the next, the next day, or it may be after you paid them the first check, <laughs> you may not see you again, you know, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, after you give them a third down, you know, <laughs> that's probably the last time you see them, you know, <laughs> I mean, it depends, you know, at some point, the relationship goes down, uh, uh, it always happens. Then it usually bottoms out at some point. Okay, you kind of reach a point whereby you, you know you, you you're you're going to blows, and it's a decision point. You know, do we cut the relationship off and go our separate ways, or do we try and resurrect this thing and salvage something from the uh, the abyss? Okay, so that's typically how it plays out. And uh, and then it becomes the manager of you now. How how well are you? Of managing relationships, how can you, uh, you know, kind of uh, work with these people to hopefully get to where you need to go to? Because if you cannot, then uh, it's just a, a very sour relationship, adversarial relationship, and uh, it could be a point whereby they could do some sabotaging, you know, and uh, and so on. It usually re revolves around money. You know, they want to get paid. You're saying, I don't have a problem paying you but do the work, you know, and they say, well, I've done the work.